everybody, I decided to make another video about the baseball cards that I bought this week off of eBay and also one uh, package from Amazon. I have six packages here. I'm going to open them up and show you what I bought this week. And also I have a Jacob deGrom jersey to give away as it's the end of the month. Uh, everyone that subscribed and commented throughout this month, I think on the last 14 videos, is eligible to win. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a winner from each video, like a finalist, I guess you could say, uh, from the comment section. And then I'm going to put all those together uh, and choose a grand prize winner for the DeGrom jersey in this video. So first, let's open up all these packages so I can show you what I got. Okay, let's start out with the smallest package here. It's just an envelope. I always hate when I buy baseball cards and they get sent to me in an envelope like this. And it's especially the worst when there's no padding at all. Like I've bought cards before from eBay and it's just been an envelope with a piece of paper and inside the piece of paper is the card, not even in um, a hard sheet, a top loader, even a penny sheet, it's just in a card. It's happened to me before. Um, it was a Kyle Ripken Jr. rookie card actually that happened to me. Um, earlier this year before I was taping my purchases off of eBay. So right here, this person did a nice job. You always want to wrap the cards in cardboard just to give it a little bit of uh, extra support. And right here we have a Jack Morris rookie card lot. Um, I think there's like nine Jack Morris rookie cards here. Um, he just went into the Hall of Fame and they all are in pretty decent conditions. Um, this one's a little soft on one of the corners, but this one's decent. Um, this one has a soft corner. It's probably like that would grade to maybe like a six or seven. This one has some sharp corners. So you can see, uh, the other guys on here, pretty much no names. Larry Anderson went on to have an okay career, but the other two, Tim Jones and, uh, Mickey Mailer, I haven't really heard too much about. So I got a bunch of Jack Morris rookie cards. Sometimes on eBay, I'll just go and I'll type in the word lot in the baseball section and sometimes I can find a good deal that way. Um, I'm not sure what I paid for this. If you give me a second, I'm gonna pause the video and look it up and tell you. Okay, these Jack Morris rookie cards, I paid $9.99 for these, um, plus $3.75 shipping, so like $13.74 for all these. Not too bad. Um, I'll probably use them to, I'll probably give some of them away as prizes actually, maybe keep the one in best condition for myself. All right, here's our next package. Have to open it so people don't see my address. That's what you're supposed to do when you open these packages. And this looks to be packaged pretty well, which is good. Um, also, I don't want to damage the cards when I'm opening it. That's another benefit of having the uh, cardboard inside. And looks like these are all in a case. What you're seeing here is some rookie cards of Andy Van Slyke, who was my favorite player when I was growing up. Um, whenever I first got into collecting baseball cards, Andy Van Slyke was my favorite player. Um, pulling an Andy Van Slyke card is what got me addicted to baseball cards back in 1989, 89 tops Andy Van Slyke. And this is his 84 tops rookie card. And there are 27 Andy Van Slyke rookie cards here. Um, they're all the same. They're all 84 tops. And they all claim to be in mint condition. And I'm not seeing any wrinkles or any soft corners. So pretty happy with that. They all seem to be centered pretty good. So Andy Van Slyke rookie cards. Um, 27 of them. I paid $6.09 for these plus $3 shipping. So just a shade under 10 bucks for all of these rookie cards. Um, that's good in my personal collection. Again, I could give some of those away if, if anybody really wanted Andy Vance like rookie card and wanted to pay for the shipping. I'd be happy to give one of those away because 27 is more than I need, but I figured what the heck, might as well go for it. Here's our next package. This one's a little bit bigger. I got the small ones done first and now we're doing the larger ones. Not sure what's in here. But they packaged it pretty good because I can't get it out of the envelope here. There we go. All right, so it is in cardboard, which is nice. I always like to see that. Just have to snip away this tape here at the top, maybe on the sides also. All right, we've got some graded cards here. Some PSA graded cards. 
Um, let me look it up how much I paid for these first. Uh, we got a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card, 89 tops traded, near mint. It's a seven. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr. 89 classic rookie card. It got an eight, near mint mint. Uh, I never had this card growing up, so I just decided to go for it. And another Ken Griffey Jr. This one I paid, let me find it. Let me find it. I paid $11.83 for these, plus $3.50 shipping. So kind of the same total. Um, paid roughly $14, $15 bucks for these. Uh, here's a uh, Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, PSA 9 rookie card. 89 tops traded. Uh, nice looking rookie card. So three Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards, roughly $15. Bucks. Okay, next. This one is a little bit larger. We are moving from small to large. And I just remembered, I just got another package delivered at my doorstep. And it was too too big to even bring downstairs. Um, so I'm going to have to probably go up and show you that. We have a bunch more PSA cards nicely wrapped in bubble wrap. Okay, I finally have these all unwrapped. They're wrapped really, really well in that bubble okay, wrap. basically 12 bucks for all these. Bunch of cards. Uh, a Chipper Jones rookie card, PSA 9. Um, Nolan Ryan, 92 Stadium Club. It's got an 8. Another Nolan Ryan. Um, 1991 Upper Deck Heroes, it got an 8, so this was like a lot. Um, another Nolan Ryan, this is a 1987 M&M's card, um, got a, a 6 because I guess it was ripped out by the person themselves. Uh, King Griffey Jr., a 9, 91 Upper Deck. I don't know why they'd even bother getting this graded, a Paul Molitor only got a 6. Um, that's kind of bad, the card doesn't look that bad itself, I'm not sure why this card got a 6. Uh, and also a Jeff Bagwell, 1991 Stadium Club rookie card. Only got a five. Um, it's kind of low. I guess that one corner is a little bit soft. Um, yeah, PSA, I guess, kind of harsh. I, if I was just looking at this, I would probably say this was probably about an eight. But got a five. But I only paid roughly, I don't know, two bucks a piece for these. Um, this one's probably the best card out of that lot. All right, next we have this box. And this one is, I think I know what this one is. Yeah, this one's kind of weird. I, I never really buy this kind of stuff. All right, we have a box here and I actually lost this auction, but I got a second chance offer. Uh, there are 550 cards in here and it cost me $59. Um, there's a little note with some, oh, we got some free sleeves, which is pretty nice. And these are all the exact same card. You'll see it in a second. It's LeBron James, who is the best player in basketball today. A lot of people like him. Um, and it is his rookie card. You can see it says draft pick. It is a reprint. It's not the real rookie card, obviously because that would be worth tons and tons of money. I think it usually sells for at least $100 on eBay, not graded. You can tell that it's a reprint because it does not have, this I believe is supposed to be foil down here and it's not, it's just kind of like there. Um, so I think these sell for a few dollars on eBay. You can just list them for like LeBron James reprint and people still buy them because Spending a couple bucks for this is a lot better to some people than having the real thing. I have 550 of them, so if you want one of these for free, um, by all means, just send me a self-addressed stamped envelope, and I will send you one of these for free. Um, I'll leave my mailing address in the description. All right, so let's get on to the last box here. This one is from Amazon. I actually do have another box upstairs that I did not bring downstairs. I'll have to show you that one too. And here we go. This is the complete 2018 top set. Uh, I bought two of them, so I was planning on possibly giving one away as a prize to you my subscribers for my um, September giveaway. 
that's up to you folks. Like, if you want to let me know down in the comments, should I give this away for my September giveaway to everyone who leaves a comment in my videos for September? Um, I'd like to do one nice giveaway a month. Um, I think this sells for about 50 bucks. I think I paid like $39.95 or something for it on Amazon. It was on sale. Uh, I could also do another jersey, like a $100 jersey. I could go to the store and get another one of those of some current player other than Jake DeGrom. Um, just let me know in the comments what you think I should do for my September giveaway. All right, that's all the baseball cards I got. I do have one other large um, box that I could show you now before I do the uh, DeGrom jersey giveaway. All right, this was the last thing I bought. It was 50 pounds, pretty heavy. Um, I like that it's double boxed. You can see right there what it is. It is a case of Topps baseball cards from 1989. There's 20 boxes of 36 packs each. And I paid $112 for it, which is roughly more than the $5 a box. I like to pay or usually pay, but still cool. Now, this jersey, I'm giving this away to one uh, subscriber slash commenter. What I did was I went through every video and I picked out 14 finalists. Actually, I didn't pick them out. I just put the URL into a website and it picked a quote unquote finalist or winner from each video. I'm going to take these um, winners and I'm going to put them against each other in a wheel and it's going to be the last winner standing is going to win this jersey. Now, I'm going to give away this jersey at cost to anybody that is a Patreon patron of me. So basically the at cost price of this jersey is $33 is what I paid. I think it was like 30 bucks plus a little bit of tax. So $33 to any Patreon member and this jersey is yours. I'm also going to put these up on uh, eBay soon and I'll probably sell them for like 60 or 70 bucks if you'd like to buy it there. So here are our finalists. First we have Christina and then we have Jacob. Uh, you can also see the comment that was said. Uh, Eric is the third finalist. He is a ball hawk from New York. Then we have the card man 64. Obviously one of my subscribers that likes baseball cards. Elite Storm is in there. Jay Disney is a finalist. Kaiman 508 is a finalist along with Cuban Collector. And then we have the card man Again, the Cardman 64, that's possible. You, if you comment a lot, you up your chances. Tommy is a finalist. Artberg is another finalist. Nah Man 82, a finalist. Puget Sound Silverhound. And Mike Smith is our final finalist. Okay, so here we go. Time to pick the winner. I have typed everyone's name into this website. And we're going to spin to eliminate. So when your name comes up, you are eliminated from winning the jersey. It's going to be the last person standing. Uh, we're going to spin this until there is only one name, one color left. The first person out is Jay Disney. Thank you for subscribing and commenting. Uh, maybe next month uh, you'll be a winner. Our next person out is Artberg. Uh, congratulations on being a finalist. Possibly next month will be your month. And also, if you'd like to... Um, Mike Smith is eliminated. If you'd like to follow me on Patreon and pledge a donation monthly, you can get a lot more stuff. Uh, Eric is out uh, through Patreon. Do giveaways there every week. Um, I don't know if you can see what the giveaway is this week. Um, if you're not... A paid member but last week it was two baseball tickets I'm giving those away I have to buy those it is the person who won um, Dylan chose a Wednesday September 5th game Cubs and Brewers so I have to buy those for him Tommy is eliminated so we are down to about what is it like seven or eight people getting down to it Jacob is out so you can see the people that are still left um, card, your Cuban collector, the card man, Kai man, Cuban collector's out. We have, what is that, five people left. Christina is out. We're down to the final four. Final four, Nah man, the card man, 64. 
And the Carbon 64 is gone. He had two entries and he is eliminated. Kai Man, Elite Storm, Nah Man. And Elite Storm's out. So here we go. The last two standing. We have Nah Man or NAA Man against Kai Man. And the winner of the DeGrom jersey is. Kai Man is eliminated. That means Nah Man is your winner. So, Nah Man, if that's how you say it, congratulations. Send me a comment uh, from your Nah Man 82 account on YouTube to claim your prize. Everybody else, thank you so much for subscribing, and I will see you later, and I will um, reveal the September giveaway. So give me some feedback down there what you want me to give away in September.